Hi, my name is Carlos, and in today's video we are diving into a topic that I often find when working with the small and medium-sized businesses. Managing cloud storage on Google Workspace and making the right choices when it comes to storage options. As our online lives continue to expand, so does our need for bigger storage for all those precious files, documents, and memories. If you are a Google Workspace user, a business owner, administrator, or just a single user, you might have found yourself at a crossroads, wondering what are the options when needing more storage. At the end of the day, there are two options, or maybe I should say three. Opt for additional storage, take the leap and upgrade your Google subscription, or manage your existing pool storage among the users. But this third option would be a subject for another video. In this video, we will review the first two options so that you can make an informed decision that best fits your needs. Regardless of the nature of your business, the struggle with the storage limitation is real. Today, I will try to help you navigate through the choices and find a solution that ensures your data remains safe, organized, and accessible. You may think that buying cloud storage from a different provider is an alternative. However, I strongly suggest avoiding this option. This could easily complicate your work and add problems for your users. It could also compromise the security and accessibility of your data. So in my opinion, you should only consider the options that offer Google Workspace, unless you are considering migrating all your data and services to another cloud provider. But it could also be a subject for another video. Now, Google offers these two options when you need more storage. First, buy additional storage for your current subscription plan. And second, upgrade your subscription. On option number one, Google offers the possibility to buy additional pool storage in 10 terabyte increments with Google Workspace additional storage. It is an add-on subscription. You can buy as much as additional storage as you need. There is no limit. Each Google Workspace additional storage add-on subscription is $300 US per month, and it adds 10 terabytes to your pool storage. The Google Workspace additional storage add-on must be purchased as an annual subscription. Yes, I can guess what you're thinking, and you're probably right. Let's see option number two. If you have Google Workspace Business Starter, Business Standard, or Business Plus, it is usually more cost-effective to upgrade your subscription than to buy more storage. Google Workspace Business Starter offers 30 gigabytes per user. Business Standard offers two terabytes per user, and Business Premium offers five terabytes per user. As you can see, when you upgrade your subscription, you get more storage. Let's see some numbers. If you are under the starter plan, each user gets 30 gigabytes, which is very little. By upgrading to Google Standard, every user will get two terabytes of storage. This is a nice jump and comes with an additional bonus. This is pool storage and share across the organization. With Business Plus, each user gets five terabytes. It is also pool storage and is shared across the organization. So if you are a small business, let's say with 10 users, for example, when upgrading from a starter to a standard, you are getting 20 terabytes of pool storage and the additional cost is $60 a month. It is a $240 difference if you add the 10 terabytes with the additional storage add-on and $540 if you add the same compatible amount of storage, 20 terabytes. So in this example, upgrading the subscription is a better solution. If your organization has 50 users, the upgrade will cost an additional $300 per month, the same as adding 10 terabytes with additional storage at all, but you will be getting 100 terabytes of pool storage. It seems that in any case, it is a better deal to upgrade your subscription. Now, let's have a look how you can buy the additional storage and upgrading your subscription. You need to access your Google Admin Panel, and then you need to click on Billing, and then click on Get More Services. You will see Switch Your Subscription. It is important to know that when upgrading, all users need to be upgraded. 
it is not possible to upgrade only some users. There might be some exceptions to this. In that case, you will need to contact Google Sales to manage the exceptions. Google Workspace Additional Storage add-on. You need to click on Google Workspace Additional Storage. In regard to the third option that I mentioned at the beginning, is to manage the pool storage. You can limit the storage for some users and redistribute the available storage to those who need more. Within your Google Admin panel, you will find a section, Storage, where you can monitor and manage the storage that is used for users, groups, and organization units. But as I said before, how to manage this will be a subject for another video. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give us a thumbs up and share it with someone who might be looking for information on this subject. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it here down below. And if you want to find it easy again in the future, please hit the subscribe button. It is free and it helps me to continue creating content like this one. Thank you and I hope to see you next time.